I'm going to very gently pull this piston out of this cylinder now so we can replace the ring. Well, gently, whatever. I pulled it out. I don't know if you can see in there how nice and clean that is. Not a whole lot of runtime since I've cleaned it up. Our piston looks pretty good. It was kind of had some marks on it. This thing had lost a bearing. I think it was a rear bearing, but obviously nothing got on top of the piston. It was uh, most of the damage was done inside the inside of the case and the connecting rod. So you'll see I've got this nice new connecting rod. And there's a mark here on it that denotes where the front is. Actually, that's the rear. No, that's the front. I'm sorry. That's the front because the end here is chamfered, so it goes on to the connecting rod that way. I'm not going to be taking that off. I'm just going to remove the ring. Uh, so what happened with this ring is it is a Bowman's ring, but it didn't fit right. Those Teflon pads came off. So when I went to trim it down, I kind of overdid it a little bit. And the ring gap is a bit higher than it should be. So I'm just kind of trying to work this thing off. I don't really want to destroy this ring. So it rings off and you'll see it's got a really large gap. <coughs> now if this has been a higher runtime engine, I would just then use the ring itself to go around and clean the gap, clean the ring groove. This ring is really, or this piston, is in nice shape and has already pretty much been cleaned. This little wrist pin, in fact, wants to just drop right out, so I'm going to be careful not to have that happen. Now, one of the things in Frank Bowman's instructions that says uh, to do when you're going to install a new ring is it says to lightly sandpaper or hone the inside of the cylinder. So I don't really necessarily need to do it. It's been done, but I'm going to do it anyway. What I've got here is just a very small piece of 1500 grit. And there's barely anything on there. and I'm just going to kind of put this in here with my finger and just kind of go around. It's not really doing anything other than cleaning some oil off of even that. I've got a chunk of clean paper towel. I'm just kind of going to go up in there and if anything came off, just got to clean that out. A little bit of garbage in there, but not much. <coughs> didn't have my 3-in-1 oil with me, so my apologies for that. I went and got it. So here's the new Bowman's ring. He always sends them in these little bags that have this uh, little piece of PVC cut to keep those rings safe in transit. I don't know if this is a piece of tape, but it's always kind of dicey just to unpackage these things so that you don't damage them. There's the new ring. <coughs> Hopefully I don't have to mess with a gap on it because I really don't want to deal with that. So what I'm going to do here is just a little bit of oil on there and let that kind of go down through the ring groove. And then when I put this on I'm going to kind of start from the back, kind of spread it open just a hair, just get Get open enough to get going on there. So there we go. I've got the ring installed. It's already lubed up. If I go to close it up, looks like it should be alright. Now the first ring I got from him actually would not insert into the cylinder because it was didn't have enough too open or it was uh, too big of a ring. So I'm hoping that uh, I don't have the same issue with this. I'm going to put a little bit of oil in here. Lubricate that up a little bit. Make sure I put my little pad back on here. 
and it doesn't really matter how I put the connecting rod in there now but what I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch this ring tight and just kind of push it in unfortunately this ring feels like it might be the same as the other one where it won't really go in there which is going to mean I might have to trim it just a hair which I really don't want to have to do but Well, as fate would have it, this ring must have come from the same lot as that ring. And there's not enough material removed from it to actually fit in the cylinder. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to very carefully remove this ring from this piston again. And try and trim it down a little bit. This is the part that I really hate doing because... Putting them on is one thing, but taking them off in one piece without breaking them is a whole other thing. Okay, so I got the ring off here. So, the problem is that there's too much material there, and even when it's closed completely, it's not enough to actually fit in the, the cylinder there. So, I don't really have the best knowledge of how to do this the last time I did it with a Dremel and I ended up eating half the ring up there so what I've got here is just a small little diamond file and I'm gonna just kind of see if I can take some material down using the file I said I've never really encountered this. Well, now I've encountered it twice. Not really sure how to deal with it other than doing something like this to it. I have no idea if I'm taking material off or how much I'm taking off at this point. That's the problem. So as you can see here, I don't know if you can see it or not. On this one I took way too much off this one and I used a Dremel on that this one I'm not <laughs> I'm just using a file and to be honest with you I don't even know if I'm removing anything here at all about the only thing I can do is try it put it back on the piston see if it goes in the cylinder if it goes in the cylinder then we're good many times because I will destroy the ring eventually. I really meant to go on and off that many times so we'll see if I was able to get enough material to get it to go on there. And I got lucky. I managed to get it to go in there so I must have taken some material off just enough to get it to go in there so that's a good thing it's a very good thing so now I've got this set in here so that my dot and the chamfer is facing forward and that's how it's going to go back on the connecting rod or the crankshaft I'm sorry crankshaft in so that part's done now we can Take a deep breath and go on to other things here for the reassembly.